Hello friends, today is a highly requested video and we're going to be talking about cloth diapers. So friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, hey, my name is Kate. We talk about foster care and adoption, family vlogs, and just in general mom life here on this channel. We talk about creating an impact and living an intentional life. And if any of that interests you, I would love to have you subscribe. So we're going to jump right into it today. I filmed this a while ago, but my microphone wasn't plugged in, so there was no sound. Oh, in this little bag are some cloth diapers. Now. I get a lot of questions, can you cloth diaper with foster babies? Absolutely you can cloth diaper with foster babies. Now your agency may have different rules, my agency has zero rules, um, and just for the fact of not knowing what's happening to your cloth diapers and if they're going to change the baby with the right creams and that sort of things, I do send disposables for visits. I need to turn this phone off, I'm sorry. I do send disposables for visits. Um, I don't want bio mom to use, you know, their own diaper cream. Sometimes they bring their own and ruin my cloth diapers. I don't want them to not know what to do and put a dirty cloth diaper in with the rest of the stuff. Uh, in general, I just find a disposable is easiest for visits, but all of the other times we use cloth diapers. I've had, I cloth diapered right from my first and she is now six. So these diapers are all six years old for the most part. And I wanted to share with you what kind of cloth diapers we use. Now, because we can have two babies at one time, I did have two in diapers at once with my biological children because they're only 17 months apart. Always had a very large stash. How many diapers do you need? I would say you need at least 25 for one child. If you have two, I would say 50. And that's on every other day washing cycle. Little ones I change much more often because they're usually pooping a lot more, that sort of thing. But I would I change up to 10 times a day. That's the same for a disposable as well. So I would say 25 is a good number to start with if you're new to cloth diapering. Now there's very different kinds of cloth diapers and I'm going to show you some of my favorite. I have some expensive ones and I have some very cheap ones. I have some that I love and some that are just okay. Um, so I'm going to share with you all about cloth diapers. So I'm going to talk to you first about my favorite diapers. They are the Bum Genius all-in-one diapers and the reason they're called all-in-one is because their inserts just fold right over each other like so. You put the diaper on. So have snaps here so that you can have three sizes of diapers. Snap up the bottom one and that makes them teeny tiny. Now I would say like on newborn newborns I have a separate newborn stash. I don't start using these till they're about three weeks old um, depending obviously on the size of the child but you can snap them right up like so and they become itty bitty little diapers. There's a middle snap for you know medium sized and then all the way open. Now the all-in-ones I would say as they get bigger they do get a little bit smaller and they don't hold enough so I like these I would say up until about 14-ish months and then they start getting a little bit too small. Now the other one I love is the Bum Genius Pockets. So the same sort of thing. For some reason the pockets just seem to fit a little bit bigger and I don't know if it's because this part is stretched out from stuffing it but I really like the pockets. I use the pockets for overnight because you can get extra padding in there and I use all sorts of things to stuff with. I have microfiber which are these ones here and also these have the snaps. These are the ones that came with the bum jean. So you can make them smaller and snap them down to fit in if you're using it smaller. But for night I usually use a bamboo or a hemp insert. I can't remember which brand this one is from but this I believe is a hemp insert. It's a pre-fold so you can just fold it right up. Stick it right in the pocket here. You always want microfiber first and then any other materials behind it. I don't really know how to explain it but it's just gonna, you're gonna get the best absorption that way. If you have the microfiber at the bottom, it just doesn't absorb so well through the hemp, so you're gonna get more leaks. So you wanna put, so say you're putting two or three in there, you want microfiber closest to here. Now with the bamboo ones, you can actually lay them right inside if you want, um, but you can't do that with microfiber. Microfiber cannot touch the skin. It will create a lot of in irritation. So you'll see even on the all-in-ones here. It's microfiber on this side, but on this side, micro fleece. These are my favorite. They also come in really cute prints, but I have a bunch of solid colors. I, I do have cute prints as well. So the Bomb Genius also makes just liners. So this is just a liner here that you would use with a pre-fold. Now, 
You can use a snappy. I don't have mine here because I stopped using snappies like after my first kid because there was just really no need for them. So what I do when I'm doing this is I'll just simply place it in here and then when I'm folding it up onto the baby I just kind of spread this across and snap on and it is totally fine. So I use pre-folds mostly when I'm just home and I'm not out and about. Uh, they will, they are the first to leak in my opinion. So when I'm out and about, I definitely go with a bum genius um, with microfiber, usually a double insert. But these are the ones I use. They're quickest and easiest to change. If it's just pee, you can use the same cover several times. So I'll just put a new insert in. They're just like the other bum genius ones though, they snap down to three sizes. So this is one of their cute prints that they have. You can also buy, if you want to be really, you know, economical, you can also buy, they have a kit called Econo Bum. <laughs> That's funny. Same thing, they snap down to the three sizes. They're a little bit thinner. Come with, I think, three or four prefolds, or three or four covers, and I think 12 prefolds. They're a little bit thinner, so again, these are like what I use when I'm home. I don't use those ones overnight, but when I'm just home and I'm gonna be changing them more often, because we're just home, that's what I use. But they come, I think, with 12 of these. And these ones are great. They've held up really, really well, these prefolds. Use them for burp class, even. I've used them for everything. I went through a stage where I was trying out a whole bunch of different ones um, before I settled on the Bum Genius. These ones are called Charlie Banana and I like these for itty bitty babies. I just find around their legs that they they snap a whole lot better. They're a pocket diaper. I, I don't feel that these are great for older babies but they're itty bitty. Anyways, I just find that these are perfect for itty bitty babies and they're one of the first um, that I will use on the newborns as well as sun babies. These are like cheapies from China and they have held up so well. They come in the cutest little prints and I think they work out to like six bucks a diaper. So I ordered these um, again six years ago so I'm gonna put any links down below to ones I can find but I believe the website is sunbabies.com. But I'll, I'll double check that for you. These have held up incredibly well and they are a little bit smaller. You can see sun baby is the label right there. So they're great for when the babies are younger and they also have three sizes though, so you can snap them up um, to have a good fit. So those are all of the types of diapers that I use. And I just wanted to share with you my favorite cloth diaper friendly creams and that is CJ's Butter. This stuff is a little bit expensive. This was $25.95 for this, but this is amazing for everything. This one has lavender and tea tree in it, but it's calms and soothes rashes, eczema, psoriasis, rosacea, and angry honey badgers. I think that's supposed to be a joke. You can also use it for diaper rash, insect bites, scars, abrasions, burns, lacerations, stretch marks, dry skin, um, adult incontinence care. It's pediatrician recommended, safe for both cloth and disposable diapers, contains no sulfates, parabens, phthalates, or gluten. So it has colloidal oatmeal in it as well. This stuff smells like a spa too. I absolutely love it. Now, it is a little bit thicker. Our little baby girl has eczema, so I use it on our eczema spots. It works amazing. It's amazing as a barrier cream for diaper rashes if you're dealing with any sort of rash. I like to put a little bit on every diaper change. I just, I like the smell. <laughs> so even if I'm not dealing with any rash, I put a little bit of this on. Or it also comes in this spray form, and this is in the scent Milk and Honey, oh, and it smells so good. So I usually just spray this all over <laughs> after a bath, but you know, if I'm out and about, this stuff is a little bit thicker. I usually carry this one in the diaper bag, and this is the diaper cream I use when I'm out and about. So it's the Oatmeal Milk and Honey Spritz by CJ's Butter. It comes in this little four ounce jar, and I don't know if this one has a price on it. But again, these are a little bit expensive, but they're such quality ingredients and they're oil, so a little bit goes a long way. Completely safe for your cloth diapers. Next, I just wanted to share with you what I do. Obviously, it's not plugged in, but this is the Prince Lionheart Wipes Warmer. And this is what I use for cloth wipes. So if you're gonna be doing cloth diapers, you might as well do cloth wipes, because then you don't have to separate. And I have tried flannel cloth wipes, I've tried all sorts of cloth wipes, but I honestly I find they get stinky much quicker than regular little baby washcloths. So this is what I use as my cloth wipes and I will mix a little bit of baby wash water, put a few spritzes of this in there, I mix it up in a little bottle, I fill this up with cloth wipes, 
pour that little solution over and it's the perfect cloth wipe cleaning solution. Then it can all go right into your wet pail and you have no problem with that. So these are the ones I use for my wet pails. They're getting a little stretched out, but like I said, they're six years old, uh, planet wise. So it has the wet material on that side. I think I have four of these. I have four because when I had two diaper pails going in each of my daughter's rooms, I you definitely don't need that many. I was a little bit overboard, but I do have four, um, which has been good for wear because I'm sure these would be much more worn if I only had two. But I really only use, you know, two at a time right now because we only have one baby. I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any other questions about cloth diapers, I'd be happy to answer. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my wash routine actually before I go. I tried all of the natural cloth safe detergents that, the, that has been recommended. Anyways, I've tried a bunch of them. And honestly, I never had that great of an experience with them. Now, I usually wash every other day, so it's a larger load. Sometimes I'm washing up to 20 diapers at a time. So maybe that had something to do with it. And if you're going to do really small loads, that would work well. Anyways, when I was searching through the internet looking for a better cleaning solution, because I was finding my diapers were getting a little bit of a stink to them, I came across using Original Tide, not with any of the additives, not the pods, but original Tide. Well, that's what I started using and I never had an issue ever since. That was in my old house when I had a top loader. Since moving to our new house, we have a fancier machine and it is not a top loader. So I use the Tide high efficiency and it works just as well. I have to wash them a little more because there's not as much water that goes through that thing. So I usually do an extra rinse cycle I'm usually adding extra water. So if you have a front loader, you definitely have to play around. Everybody's wash routine is gonna look a little bit different. I do find my diapers will get a little bit stinkier now that I'm dealing with a front loader. And I've kind of discovered it's just because there's not enough water because it's so highly efficient. There's not enough water. So what I do now is I wash or I rinse them, throw them right in, I rinse them. And then I do one load with the Tide, just a regular wash load with the Tide and then I rinse them two more times. My old house with my old washer, I only had to rinse one one time, but I've noticed that it, doing two more rinses, that actually gets all the detergent out. Because if you still have a built up of detergent in there, and then you're going and use them, not only can you get leaking problems, but you can get a smell building up. Um, so that's what I do. Rinse first, do a wash cycle with the Tide, and then two more rinses, and we're good to go. I put my dryers, I put my dryers, I put my diapers in the dryer almost every single time. Some of them have fared better than others. I had some more natural ones. Those ones did not fare so well in the dryer. I also bleach my diapers like every two or three times. I'm really like not gentle with my diapers at all and they have held up so well. I'm not having leak problems. I always put them in the dryer unless I'm dealing with really bad stains. I honestly, I just don't have time. I have enough laundry. I don't have time necessarily to go and hang them and I live in Canada where six months of the year it's freezing and you can't hang your stuff outside. So I've just gotten into a routine of using the dryer for them. The odd time, if it's, you know, the weather's right, sunny, I'm dealing with stains, I'll put them out to hang dry because if you don't know, the sun is a perfect de-stainer or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, like this is six, oops, this is six years of use and they're, some of them look really brand new. Now the poly, whatever this stuff is called, you can see like it's starting to look a little bit stretched out, but I have had to replace none of my diapers. Um, so yeah, I'm not so gentle on them. I, th I feel like people think there's more to cloth diapering and you know, you have to be so careful with them and I just wash with Tide, do a double rinse, throw them in the dryer. And stinkies, if you are having problems with stinkies, the stinky solution that I have found that works the best is a baking soda vinegar and water bath. And I'll actually, I, cause I have so many, I'll soak them all in my bathtub and I'll leave them in there for a couple of hours and then I rinse them I'll put them through the washer on just a rinse load, then I'll do a detergent load and another rinse load, and that gets rid of the stinkies if I'm having any issues. Anyways guys, I hope that was helpful for you. 100%, you can cloth diaper your foster babies, um, and it's very economical when you take care of baby after baby after baby and you're not having to purchase diapers all of the time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching to the end. Consider subscribing again if you're new here. I would love to have you like this video to share the cloth love, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Bye.